Hey everyone, it's Connor Nix here, and I'm back with another video. So today I'll be doing another unboxing video here at my desk with my laptop. Yeah, I, I've been doing my unboxing videos over here because I kind of ran out of space over there. I've got tons of models taking up space. Um, so yeah, uh, this is a, a Lockheed C5 Galaxy that my mom bought me. She just got back from a Nashville field trip. She went with my brother and the rest of the third grade to Nashville. And she bought this for me, and it's really cool because, it, you know, you have the C5 plane, and then you have a runway to display it on. And, yeah, it's really cool. So let's let's open it up. Uh, so first I'm going to kind of show off everything that's on here. Uh, so you have all the different planes around the box that the company sells. It is a made by Hot Wings. Um, and, as you can see, collectible runway. Um, and there's a little... Uh, card down here that tells you all about it. It just says Lockheed C5 Galaxy. You have a picture of the model. Uh, and then there's some information. You can pause right there if you want to read that. Uh, so, yeah, and then at the bottom, diecast connectable planes and connectable runways. And then on the back, uh, you have every single plane that they sell. So you can pause right there if you want to read those. Um, so, yeah, I believe the C5 is in here somewhere. Um, it's somewhere in there. Uh, I actually have seen this company before. This company is not new to me. I haven't, I haven't actually seen it very many times. I've seen it at a few toy stores. And, um, also Diecast Airline Store, some, uh, in a few stores like that. Um, and I've been looking at some of these airliners, uh, in the private series, and some of these military ones. And this C5 was one that I really wanted to get. Uh, so yeah, now I have one. Uh, let's let's get it open. So I'm gonna have to set this phone down to open this up. Let's set it down there. This thing open. So these boxes are. This is pretty easy to open because all you have to do is just fold the plastic around and it comes open. Only problem is it's, there's tape on the bottom, but it's really easy to get off. Okay, so here's a little the little backdrop, I guess you can call it. Um, so yeah, let's let's take it out. I don't want to break anything. Got it down there. Okay, so here's the uh, little collectible card. I'm gonna. I'm gonna want to set that up somewhere. I'm just gonna set that right there for now. Um, but yeah, here is the plane on the little runway that you get with it. Um, so yeah, let's let's check it out. Uh, so right here is the runway, and it's made of a soft, foamy material. So it's it's really nice. It's not like plastic, and you can take these little pieces off. Um, and then it has markings, and then the runway line, I believe that's a runway number right there. And the runway lights, it's pretty, pretty detailed. And it also has like the little, you know, little rocks in the runway and all that. Uh, so here's the airplane itself, and it's actually pretty detailed. Uh, I like how much detail they put on here. Um, the front nose cone is black as the, some of the real Air Force C5s are. Um, and then up here there's the, the rudder. You can see the, uh. The rudder, right there's the double rudder, uh, and then the elevators, which are also doubled up like that, uh, and then the the engines, which are the correct shape. Uh, they are this this round part in the front. They're really round in the front, and then they get smaller as they get to the back. And you have, I believe, these are fuel tanks on the bottom. I've never really figured out what those are. I think they're fuel tanks, though. Uh, and then the flaps and spoilers. Actually, I don't know if this plane has spoilers or not. I'm not completely sure. Uh, and then there's the ailer on there, and it says USAF, which of course is the United States Air Force. And then you have the landing gears, which look a lot, which look really similar to the real life landing gears. And of course, all these these smaller model planes, they can't really put the real uh, landing gears on there, but they always seem to look pretty similar. So that's really cool. Uh, and there's there's the uh, front of it. It looks really cool from the front. I'm gonna set it down and. Looks really cool from the front. 
So yeah. Uh, it's really cool. And it looks cool on this runway also. If you set it on the side like that and put it down on the runway, it looks really cool like that. You know what? I think that's going to be the thumbnail for the video right there. Okay. So yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the top. I've really already looked at it. Um, and there's a little marking there. And there's the the windshield and the nose cone once again. So now let's look at the bottom. Of course you have the, the gears. The main gears. I'm, I've never really figured out what these things are. They're always on most of these kinds of model planes. I, I really don't know what they are. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then I believe that is... Uh, actually, that's probably just one of the shipping numbers or something like that. I was going to say it's the registration, but it, it maybe. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, does it say what scale this is anywhere? Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't know what scale it is, but it's a pretty good size, actually. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot bigger. It's bigger than I thought it would be when I found it on the internet. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video that you see on me, then make sure to subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you all next time.